Hey there, thank you for watching and welcome to this week's Money Diary where I open my wallet and let you see what I have spent throughout the week. So first off, I know the lighting is kind of weird and I apologize for that. I, I always feel like I'm racing against the sun going down in the winter because it gets dark around four o'clock. Um, so I'm trying to get this out and ready, um, out and done before then. In the meantime, like the lighting's kind of off, so. Apologies for that. Also, in about two minutes, my oven timer is gonna ding. I am making banana bread, so just when that happens, just heads up, it's gonna happen. Um, so let's get into it. Um, all right, this is what I have spent for the week. And as you can see, there were over here a whole bunch of no spend days followed by two days of lots of spending. So that's where we are, and I'm gonna go through it. Also, just to update, I'm going to keep this money diary to those variable categories that I have um, some control over. Those would be groceries, personal care, transportation, food out, and anything additional. Because there's all there's that standard kind of housing, utilities, phone, gym, um, insurance, tithe, and my student loan. And those are kind of like separate. This is stuff that's variable that I have more sort of leverage over. So I think, and I think that's more interesting too. So I'll keep it to that. Um, so that said, I am going to get into it. So last Saturday was, so I had a whole bunch of really good days. And then these days that I kind of like knew toward the end of the week that there would be a little bit more spending. And I think for the most part, if I had to rate myself, like give myself a grade, I would say we're at in like B plus territory. Um, and there you make some change, some like trade-offs to get there as opposed like what could I have done to be in the A in saving money category? We'll see. So we'll get into it. Um, so last Saturday I spent $9 for groceries and that was for coffee and Chex Mix. I had this grand plan in my head that I was going to do homemade Chex Mix. That was the oven timer. Um, that did not happen because I figured out that it would have cost like three times as much to make a homemade Chex Mix as it would to just buy the bags of Chex Mix. Um, in the end, I didn't even end up doing that. So trade-offs. I actually bought two bags of Chex Mix and my mom and I just ended up eating them. So they didn't even make it to like gift bags. I bought like the little tubs that I was going to use and from the dollar store. Didn't end up doing that. Fine walk on. Uh, that's all I spent on Saturday. On Sunday, so Sunday through Wednesday, I did not spend a single dollar. And that is, I'll tell you why, is because last Friday I did a big grocery run that to Little in that supermarket um, from the same parent company as Aldi. Um, and I bought, and this is like my super easy lunch prep, meal prep deal. Like takes next to no thought. Like I know people get really elaborate and they like put out their, these little boxes and people like Instagram of like all their lunches and it, oh, it only took me three hours and four different, and, and I'm like, no, no, no. Like I don't have time for that. I boil a pot of spaghetti, throw in a pot of sauce, even it up, put it into four separate containers and there I'm, I'm done. Spaghetti sauce done. Sometimes I'll put in some spinach into the spinach or peas into the pasta and, and it's, as it's almost done and I'll throw that in for a veggie and that's my lunch. Um, I only have to pack four days a week because we get free lunch for uh, free lunches on Friday, which is great in my office. But that I think has, I know that saved me a huge amount, like close to 40 bucks a week. So that is my lunch prep, like zero thought maybe 20 minutes of um, time. So that was a huge win. Um, pro tip, don't care. Like that's, <laughs> that's, and that was a huge thing that I did um, this week. So these, in this month, um, I started that. I also started um, making, being better about making my own coffee in the morning because I had been stopping at 7-Eleven. I'm like, it's $2. What's the big deal? And it's not a huge deal. And if it really mattered to me, I would do it. But I figured, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. So let me just make it at home. Super cheap. Cost me 10 bucks, maybe 15 bucks um, at the beginning of the month. And I'm good for the rest of the month. I, I figure that I save close to 30 or $40 over the course of the month, which adds up. So these are the little, I'm saying this because these are the trade-offs that I'm making in order to spend in other areas that do matter more. So that was from Sunday until Wednesday. I had, had no spend. Um, so these were, those were some of the tips that helped me not spend anything. Another thing that I did, and so on Sunday, what I ended up doing and with a no spend, I bought a bunch of um, cookie making material. So again, a trade-off. Over the holiday season, there are a bunch of things that come up that I love to do. And one of them is go to like a Christmas concert, play in a Christmas concert. That actually happened on Sunday. And I had the option of either playing in a Christmas concert or 
staying home and getting some things done. So I made the choice instead of playing in the Christmas concert to stay home and get things done. I had wanted to make cookies that was going to be that was important to me. So I did that. And I did that and I worked on a spreadsheet for work. And then I did some other stuff um, here. I think I made a I posted a video as well. That was more important to me than playing in the Christmas concert. And it was a really tough trade off because my college, the college that I play at is going through some transitions. So this was the last Christmas concert in our current space. So that was hard and like people were posting videos and I'm like, oh man, I wish I could have been there. But in the end, I was like, no, like I made that deliberate choice that I was going to stay home and get some stuff done. And as a result, the next week at work was phenomenal. So it like killed me at the time, but I'm like, look at the trade off. Work went really well because I took maybe like 20, 30, 40 minutes to sit down and like get my accounts together and kind of work on that. And it really ended up being a, a really good, I think on my part, a great investment. So another reason for the no spend. We had some executive, an executive um, fly in, a, a senior vice president, and he took us, he took our team um, to dinner. Um, it was really generous. It was on him, not the company. So again, really generous. Um, and I, th I thought there was a chance that we might be ordering money. So I had, I know I had food money in my food out budget that I could have used, but it turns out that we didn't order lunches and everyone just kind of did their own thing. And, and one of my coworkers and my supervisor got lunch together uh, or they ordered in and like brought it in. And I had my lunch, my little like pasta that took me like five minutes and cost me $2 for the whole week. And like, I was eating my pasta at my desk while they were eating their lunches at their desk. And I'm like, you know what? This is okay. Like this is a decent trade off because lunch costs easy $10 you know, minimum. So that was a really good trade off, I think made easier because I did all that meal prepping on Sunday night. So that was something else that helped me not spend anything, um, throughout the week. Thursday was actually a really good day. Um, another good day. Personally, I taught lessons then, um, instead of on Monday when I usually teach because we had the team dinner. Um, and then I, I paid 30 bucks for gas. And then on Friday, that was like the bigger day. I went out for lunch. We had, um, some work, we all ended up working from home. The office lost power. It ended up being a, a good situation or like a good trade off. Um, cause I was able to get my work done, done and then go grab lunch with a friend. Um, we got sushi. I spent $46 on groceries. The two of us, after we had sushi, went out, walked around and did some fun grocery shopping. Um, we went to kind of a fairways, a, a grocery store by us. It's a little bit more, I don't say upscale, but like you can buy like, um, fancier things that it, for a good price. Um, Things like goat cheese, dates, um, ro like real like herbs um, in a little pot uh, with dirt, so they're living. <laughs> um, oranges, and I got, uh, this is kind of a Christmas gift to myself, I got some aromatherapy um, roll-ons, which I'm excited to use. They're like chakra balancing. So that was exciting. I like that. I also did some cleaning um, over the week. And I unearthed a couple store credit cards, which I was able to use as well on... Friday. So that was a huge thing. And I also put in an Amazon order for some gifts um, and, and some, it's my big thing, some clothes, some like festive clothes for New Year's Eve. Um, uh, good Lord willing, I will be returning. Hopefully some things will fit and some things won't. That 159 will not stay 159 because some stuff's going back. Um, but the other, I got two things, one for me and one for my mom that were $30 each. Um, so that was rolled into the $100 gift budget um, for family that I, I set out. At the beginning of the month. So that was Amazon. And then uh, that was for Friday. And then yesterday or today, sun, uh, Saturday, <laughs> I went to a spinning class at eight in the morning as part of my gym uh, membership. And then I went grocery shopping right after, which it was already starting to get crowded at, at like nine. So it was good that I got that out of the way. I kind of picked up the last of our Christmas like festive groceries. Um, I got some condensed milk, cream of coconut, and evaporated milk because I'm hoping to make coquito um, for us to drink. Uh, I got some green peppers, sausages, and eggs for the casserole, um, breakfast casserole that I'm making in the morning, and Cool Whip and Jello for our Christmas dessert. So then I spent um, like $7 on bread from the bakery, uh, again, to have with our... Um, with our meal. Something else uh, Money Mom had suggested was to do a video on Christmas food. So I'm hoping to get that up as well sometime this week, possibly Christmas Day, um, because I love the Christmas and Thanksgiving are like the only time that I bake and I love doing it uh, or that I cook. And I, I really not really the only time, but I really enjoy that like festive go all out kind of holiday baking, uh, holiday cooking. 
So I'm hoping to kind of do a video on my, my personal favorite holiday foods and foods that we're going to be having this Christmas. So that's upcoming. Um, but that's, so that's my week rundown, what I've spent so far, wins. Um, it's kind of where I've made cutbacks, sacrifices in order to spend a little bit more. So on the whole, I'd say that um, works out. And I, I, I give myself a B plus because in that Amazon order, did I really need to spend, I think it was like 60 bucks on clothes. Did I need to do that? No. Um, do I need the $30 skirt that I'm hoping, hoping one of which will fit? No. Um, am I choosing to do that? Because that's something that I would like to do. Um, yes. So that's just, that's the B plus. If I hadn't done that, I would have gotten an A. But considering that, again, for me, it's really, it, it changes my self-esteem when I feel good about how I look. So I feel like that's, a decent trade-off. Um, so I'm willing to take that in the area of financial. I'm willing to sacrifice, make that, lay that out as an expense in order to um, really experience life right now to the fullest. So I'm just going to leave that there and say thank you so much for watching. I hope you will keep watching and thank you again for spending your time with me.